so good evening friends uh, i am here again with the next set of lectures uh, so in the previous lecture i told that uh, i will start from this architecture and then i'll proceed to diameter applications like gx rx gy sy all this but friends i just uh, uh, skip uh, two slides so um, prior to moving towards this architecture let's uh, cover that part okay so that is let me okay so this is the one which is a very important uh, uh, topic uh, because people really get confused with what is connection what is session they keep on saying connection as a session always so but the thing is like uh, i i think i i mentioned about this connection and session in my previous lectures also but today this this lecture will be properly on connection and session so friends connection is a physical thing and session is a logical thing on top of it so here i have shown you a diagram where the node 1 and node 2 are connected to each other with a strong physical connection that is based on the transport layer which is tcp or sctp it could be anything okay the only difference is if it is a tcp there will the set of handshake messages will be different as you know and uh, if it is sctp then uh, handshake messages will be different okay so uh, uh, friends if you uh, don't know about tcp and sctp in detail i would prefer to search it on google or youtube uh, do a, do a search on youtube you will definitely get it even then i will try to tell you very high level about this uh, these two protocols but as of now just think it they are just a transport layer protocol transport the name itself says that it creates a physical connection and transport some physical messages on top of it once these physical messages are exchanged successfully which means the two nodes are tightly coupled with each other to exchange the messages okay then on top of it uh, our application layer comes which is our diameter layer and all the diameter messages like cer cea will will uh, will flow on top of it and on top of that also we have our session so session is basically in support of the application which we have built like if i say charging um, means uh, i have a ggsn okay and i have a ocs okay so the of, of course they are also connected physically then there is application layer connection cer ca message will be exchanged but after that whatever messages are there like ccr cca rar message all these are related to their application only so these comes on the session side so session is always on the top and it is a logical entity uh, whereas the connection is a physical a physical thing okay so here you can see that uh, connect i have described the connection a connection refers to a transport level connection between two peers that is used to send and receive diameter messages okay so you can see that uh, let me use the pointer here okay so uh, this is the transport layer and we can either use tls or sctp both can't be used there is no option to use both so either the two nodes are connected on transport layer via tcp connection or via sctp so tcp stands for transmission control protocol and sctp stands for stream control transmission protocol there is a very minute difference between two of them uh, that tcp is a very general you can see like with the, we have a three uh, three step handshake so first message which uh, which flows from node a to node b will be sync syn okay then second will be sync act means node 2 will reply to the node 1 that yes i am ready to take a, to take the connection and then node 1 will send the data which is ack acknowledgement means acknowledgement plus data it will send and this way two nodes will be connected whereas in sctp sctp is a four way hand connection four way handshake means first SC, uh, node a will send connection uh, this request in it okay in response to that node 2 will reply with in it ack means i am ready same like sync ack okay now after that there will be a cookie echo message okay and then in response to that it will reply with cookie ack okay then data will transfer so this is a four way handshake uh, process means before a message to be transferred from node 1 to node 3 there will be three way of handshaking three messages of handshaking in a tcp based uh, mechanism whereas in sctp it will be a four way so uh, later on means it's uh, friends i don't want to waste your time to explain this much in detail in these lectures because you can easily get the call flow of tcp sctp in the blogs of different people on google i have also learned out from that 
but even then if you want me to explain that thing definitely i would be happy to help you i would happy to explain you so just comment me in my video and i will definitely put it in my next lecture okay so uh, then after we have application layer wherein our cer and cea message means capability exchange request and capability exchange message will be exchanged and this way our connection is established and on top of our connection all the sessions means related to the applications will flow and this way we can use a diameter capabilities means the diameter features in our application okay so session again session is a logical concept at the application layer that exists between the diameter client and the diameter server it is identified via the session id avp okay so uh, uh, if I, if you remember i have shown you session id here uh, see this is the session id okay so this session id means that this particular message is based on some session means a logical one not the physical one okay got my point hopefully <laughs> so okay now after this, we have uh, the brief description about the CER, CEA message. So just read out like basic motive of this process is to know about the other node to which a node intended to communicate before establishing. So as I already told that if node A is establishing a connection with node B, then in order to establish in, in a diameter environment, the, a connection, node A has to first read out the capabilities which it is supporting and share these capabilities to node B on a very, very higher node. And if node B replies to uh, node A with a CEA success, which means that node B is also on the same platform. And this way, th these both can use uh, uh, their connections and then they can make the sessions and all those things. Okay. So you can read out my slides if you want. Um, uh, okay. You can pause the video and you can read out my slide. I will also try to share this slide once it's complete. Okay. And you can see the CER message. So CER message is composed of diameter header. Then we have uh, AVPs like uh, origin host, origin realm, host IP address, vendor ID, product name, pro inbound security IDs, inbound, uh, inbound security ID, S2, vendor specific IDs, all those things will be there. Okay, and in, in turn C, uh, result code is success means node B is replying to node A with a, with a request and answer saying, uh, means answer to that request saying that result code is success, which means whatever capability is supported by A, B can also support the same thing and this, that's why they are on the same platform and they can utilize it. Now, the very important thing, uh, this is a point of doubt in uh, for many of the uh, students that, uh, in, uh, that uh, we have... Uh, what kind of agents we have so in diameter protocol we have uh, like four kinds of agents one is relay agent one is proxy agent one is redirect agent and one is translation agent so these are very simple concept don't get confused so first we will see the relay agent what relay agent so relay is agent is nothing like it is it is taking input from the client then giving it to the servers means it is, it's just a mediator it's not like if it is a mediator then it, it cannot modify the message definitely it can it depends upon your configuration what you have uh, asked this uh, with what you have configured inside this diameter relay agent to change those message or anything similarly the proxy agent is also there so proxy agent is is actually a little bit different from relay agent in terms of like we used proxy agent to proxy the request to the server but that proxy agent doesn't doesn't have the routing information of the uh, server that's the reason proxy agent always do a lookup on the redirect agent and once a uh, redirect agent and redirect agent has a brain where it has stored the address of the uh, server so so you can see the first request goes from client uh, diameter client towards proxy agent then proxy agent does a lookup on diameter redirect agent and once he get the information of this then it will uh, uh, reply it will send this message to the diameter server and once uh, um, and thereafter diameter server will read out the message and it will reply so that will be the usual process so this is the difference now the last one is a translation agent so the responsibility of this agent is to convert a message from a triple a protocol to another so you can read out this uh, full but i will just tell you on a very higher note like this translation agent is uh, is actually translating the triple a based protocol which is diameter to any other triple a based protocol like we have radius okay so another situation is that a company wants to migrate to diameter protocol but the migration consists of many phases then the translation agent could provide the backward compatibility for a smooth migration so again so the same thing that 
means I have I am supporting a different kind of AAA protocol. So for the migration purpose, we can use this uh, this uh, translation agent for a migration purpose. Actually, it is not meant for that, but we can also use it. Okay. So okay. So with this, we have explained the redirect agent. What is redirect agent? What is translation agent? What is relay? And what is proxy agents? Okay. So uh, now. What are the capabilities of these agents that they can do value added processing to the request or responses? So as I told that relay and proxy agents, it's they are not only relaying or they are not only proxying, uh, whereas they can even uh, modify the uh, some information inside the request which is there. Okay, so um, this is the one. Then they can be used for load balancing of board load balancing. Of course, see. Uh, we have many servers like here just like this we have one server here one server here okay let me use a pencil here so let's say we have one server here okay when we have one server here i will just write it as s1 server 1 server 2 and server 3 now this particular message was intended to go to server 1 that's the reason when it do a lookup it has given the address of S1 and the message went to S1. Now suppose this message was uh, the next message which comes from here was supposed to go to S3. Then again proxy has to look up on diameter redirect agent and redirect agent will give it S3. And this way this request instead of going here it will go to here. Means basically it is doing a load balancing. Load is coming and it will see where the load to where the load uh, has to be uh, redirected and it will redirect to that particular server so this is the case of uh, redirection okay so uh, you can easily uh, now get an idea of what are different different agent so if you want to go much more deep dive into this diameter there is rfc 6733 as i from starting of my lecture i am telling you itf has created this a big uh, uh, picture of the diameter and you can go it thoroughly moreover we have another blog spot i will share you in my in, in the link of this video i mean in the description of this video that is a very good blog spot and i really appreciate that guy he is is actually representing is representing team diameter wherein he has explained very deep insights of the diameter and even my lectures are means i am also inspired from his blog spot and i am reading it daily means regularly and i uh, have tried to bring out all the good things in a video okay so i will share that one you can even go through many things about that but as of now we are done with it so now with this we are done with our session and uh, from tomorrow onwards means from the next session onwards i will be focusing more on the more on the diameter application side means all the charging related interfaces applications which we are having all the session how session is created how message floats over the session what are what is ccr cca what is a da data call flow all these things i will explain you in the next session onwards so guys uh, thank you so much uh, and keep keep watching the videos again and again because it happens sometimes watching it at once you will not get a proper idea like uh, what diameter is and what are its components but when when you see it regularly when you see the blogs regularly then even if you are lucky to get Im to implement such things to deploy such things then definitely uh, once you do the head hands on you will get a good hold of the diameter it's not a very complicated protocol it's better easy it's easier than the ss7 the traditional protocols which we were using but since the people who are using ss7 they are they were working on that and they were used to it so maybe few of the peoples are finding it difficult to learn the diameter and it is a human nature but i'm here to help you and uh, definitely uh, once you go through my videos and other than that you try it by yourself reading the blogs uh, watching the videos and do it uh, watching the uh, tcp dump you will definitely uh, get a good hold of it okay so i will stop my class here and thank you so much